Like, I really like what you guys are doing, and I'm happy you're doing a podcast, but I just have some really important questions that I'm not sure if you can answer. Like, what is gravity? I mean, have you even thought about this stuff? Gravity. One thing that's really funny about gravity is <clears throat> Isaac Newton said that when the apple falls from the tree and the apple is right there on on the ground and you're staring right at it, that's gravity. And the issue is, is that even Neil deGrasse Tyson even said, like, scientists do not understand gravity. So basically, you were telling me what is gravity, everything falls down to the force of gravity. But, but if somebody jumps up and down, and they land, which they will, uh, in their bedroom or wherever, that's gravity. But if moons are going around, uh, like around the Earth, that's also gravity. But if the Earth and the moon is also going around the sun, that's gravity. Everything is always gravity. There's never like like a uh, straight up answer of what gravity is. And listen to this clip real quick so you can understand what Neil deGrasse Tyson is saying. They don't understand what gravity is. Hi, I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'm an astrophysicist with the American Museum of Natural History, and I'm host of Star Talk Radio. Welcome back to Star Talk Radio. <laughs> And it's fighting all these air molecules. Like, what's up with that? We win. Astrophysicists win. Oh! Yeah, I said it. Snap! Bada bing! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. I'm getting it! My favorite part, I thought it was really poignant when she teared up, recognizing her mortality, and enough tear collected in the eye so that one of the drops floated off of her face. I thought that was a heavy hammer there, but they did some actual experiments with tears on the space station, and the surface tension of the liquid actually will more likely have it stay connected to your cheek. Surface tension is what will allow a drop of water to come down here and not just fall off, it'll sort of come horizontally a little bit, maybe even to your chin. The water is clinging to a surface. That's surface tension. It overrides gravity at those levels. So we saw the tear, we got it. But I thought that that was poignant. The, a great scene with the fire extinguisher, ways to propel yourself in space how terrifying it was that the broken particles of the satellites coming at such speed, that's scary stuff. By the way, the total satellite destruction scenario, it's real. One satellite can take out 10, they each take out another 10, go from one to 10 to 100 to 1,000 in a matter of days, You could, maybe a month. Total satellite destruction if you go around smashing satellites, don't do it. Oh, another thing, by the way, Sandra Bullock randomly comes out of orbit and she lands in a pond and just swims to shore. Excuse me, most places on Earth you'll land, you are near no shore at all. You're gonna drop in the middle of the Pacific or in the Arctic and you'll be eaten by sharks in the ocean or a polar bear will eat you in the Arctic. Something bad is gonna happen to you. You're not gonna just crawl out and sit on land and say, boy, I had a, I had a long day. You know, I got in big trouble when I sent out some tweets about gravity. I just thought people would be interested to know what they didn't get right. In fact, I didn't even say they got it wrong. I just said these were mysteries of the movie. Why is it that Sandra Bullock, a medical doctor, is repairing the Hubble Space Telescope? Excuse me, we don't send medical doctors to repair the Hubble Space Telescope any more than we're, than we're gonna send a mechanical engineer to do open heart surgery on you, please. Okay, so I tweeted that and it might have had a little emotional flavor to it, but still. What I didn't tweet were the hundred things it got right. I celebrate the movie for its effort to get so much right. It's unfortunate that my initial salvo of tweets were interpreted as me somehow not liking the movie. I enjoyed the movie immensely. 